Liberia. The national election. Liberians vote out President George Weah in landmark election as opposition candidate. Bokai on course to victory. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Today we are discussing about Liberia, politics, and the election. Now in detail. Opposition candidate Joseph Buka is set for victory in the Liberian presidential election after the latest range of results were announced by the Electoral Commission on Friday. Liberians voted a President George Way, who is also the candidate of the Coalition of Democratic Change, CDC, in the landmark election. The 78 years old political veteran has 50.89% of the vote. Why Kuben President George Way has 49.11% of the vote. That represents a lead of more than 28,000 votes, with nearly all the ballon accounted for. The latest result has sparked celebration in the capital, Morovia. Buka supporters have been gathering at his party's headquarters in the city, convinced that he has won the election. They have been shouting for President Way to go and saying, We beat the Buga dancer, referring to a song that became associated with his campaign. There have been no formal statement from either of the candidates. The Legislature Commission says that it has announced the result from 99.58% of the polling stations. The vote at one polling station needed to be rerun on Saturday and discrepancies were noticed in results from 20 other which needed to be investigated. National Electoral Commission Chairperson Davidata Brosa Lanza said, This is the fourth election Liberia is holding in its recent history since the end of civil war. A Nigerian national and resident of Liberia told a report on Friday that Liberia revolutionized the presidential election and achieved a feat which could not be achieved during Nigeria's last general election. He said, This nation, Liberia, has written a new page for Africa. They have revolutionized the untraditional approach of African politics that incubate or some elite are decision makers. How I wish all Nigerians will embrace the power of their vote and use it accurately. President George Way was voted out of power, denied of a second term in office because the masses decided. What a way of writing the future, he added. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis. First of all, you cannot compare Liberia with Nigeria. Liberia people have suffered so much just like Nigerians. But Liberian people believe that taking bribe or money will be against their future and future of the unborn children. And for this reason, they decided to vote out church way. They believe that the 79 years old man will bring peace, prosperity in their country. But on the other hand, Nigerian youth have suffered so much in the hands of some criminal leaders. But upon that, when the election comes, you will see so many of them taken back. No doubt that the uh, 2023 election was rigged. In as far as presidential election is concerned, it was rigged. But at the same time, I also blame some youth who allow themselves to be used because of money, because of hunger, because of suffering. Because what is happening in Nigeria today is that the masses are suffering in the hands of the political elite. They made the masses poor, what they call poor. In that way, they will continue to manipulate them all the days of their life. 
after they suffer and die, their children will start from where they stop, start suffering. And their children will continue to collect bribe because that was what they taught them. Why Nigeria continue to go down? Some of us and some people who believe so much in the freedom of their people are not stupid. We are doing those things because we have seen the fate of Nigerians that Nigeria can never walk. Because why? Because of so many youth, even at their age, love money more than every other thing. They don't want to work hard for the money. They want to get the money in platter of gold. And for this reason, these elite and corrupt politicians continue to use their future and future of the unborn children. In Nigeria today, we have the free tini, and that is why everything is going wrong. Some people believe that they are born to rule, even though they are not doing anything tangible, even though they are not qualified, even though they have no certificate, even though they have so many skeletons in their cupboard, but their people believe that they are born to rule for this reason. They must rule. They don't care to provide someone who has what it takes to rule 200 and something million people in Nigeria. They don't care to bring in someone who is qualified, who has no skeleton in his cupboard. What they believe in is that so far as the person is coming from their land, he is qualified. Whether a drug pusher, whether a terrorist, whether anything at all. Even if he does not have certificate, he is qualified to rule. At the same time, they believe that some people in Nigeria does not have right to rule Nigeria. Even with their contribution. To make sure that Nigeria stays together. I have to be sincere with you. Evil men and women has been the ones. So many of them, especially the political elite, they have been the ones doing everything possible to stop the Biafra agitation. Because why? Because they believe so much in the one Nigeria. But the truth is that what they believe is to fill their pocket with dollars, pounds, and naira. They don't care about the masses. But no doubt, he will also have genuine politicians who can make Nigeria a better place. But the so-called Nigeria has refused to change. Because why? Because we have so many ethnies who believe that this of an evil woman to rule Nigeria is better. A man with a dubious character rule Nigeria. And that is what it is. When you check out 2023 election, the tiny bulls, the shady mass, obese, wicked, you will find that the game they played. So you cannot compare Liberia with Nigeria. The youth of Liberia believe that they are tired of nonsense. They refuse to take any bribe. Even the old man could not offer them anything. And I believe Joshua tried upon that. They did what they know that is best for them. But because of our ethnicity in Nigeria, different ethnicity, that can never work. For Nigeria to, to work, believe me, the Nigerians must carry weapon against the military because they are the architect of the problem of Nigeria. The military. Why other military in different countries are busy taking control of their country because of fake and dubious politicians. The military of Nigeria could not do that because why? Because so many of them are even Boko Haram. So many of them are terrorists recruited into the military. So how can they take over a country? If they do that, people will be, will be suffering more. That is the truth. And for this reason, Bola Metinibu invited them and gave them whooping amount of money in dollars. I'm telling you today that Bola spent not less than 100 billion from the beginning of election to the end. I'm not talking about the money he paid the judiciary to make sure he win in the court. I'm not talking about the money he paid 
so called INEC. I'm not talking about the money he paid the military to have stop them from overthrowing him. These are what we are talking about. So how can such country work? When a man spends such money, when a man spends such money in the name of trying to become a president of Nigeria, how do you expect him to recover his money? When he becomes a president, he will start from beginning, begin, start asking for different projects that he cannot even fulfill. He will borrow, he will use those money to replace the money he spent while coming in as a president. And you cannot suffer. For eight them years, he will not achieve anything. And you will be there shouting, hey, wo, hey, wo, ah, cloche, ah, wabba. Things will be going wrong. Because why? Because you allow yourself to be used. You sold your conscience. So you cannot compare Liberia with Nigeria. Nigeria is doomed. That is why we are asking for freedom. And that freedom, you must give to us. Thank you so much for watching.